Uh, here's a look at what we are seeing out in the Atlantic when it comes to uh, those tropical systems or of course we're still in just hurricane season. Yeah, we're down falling from the peak, but still September very active month right now on the East Coast. We've got potential tropical cyclone eight. So this likely this has a chance to get a name before it makes landfall later on today. 50 mile per hour winds currently sustained. It's just not organized. So if it gets a more organized center. It is approaching landfall though now as we speak, so it may not get that name, which I believe is uh, Helena the next, but overall 65 mile per hour wind gusts, tropical storm force winds impacting the coast, tropical storm warning in place as well. Now this is all on the east coast. This is the Carolinas, North Carolina, South Carolina, anticipating a whole lot of rain from this potential tropical cyclone. For the rest of us, not so much rain. We get a little bit of a disturbance. There's a stationary boundary set it up through Louisiana and the Mississippi River Valley. We've got a low pressure system tracking across portions of the West, but Texas is going to be under the influence of high pressure, and we'll talk about what that means for our forecast coming up. So there's Helene. So uh, it's Helene is the next name on the list. If Tropical Cyclone 8 can get organized before it makes landfall, it will get a name. But right now we also are keeping an eye on Tropical Depression Gordon, but that's moving north in the Atlantic. So overall, no threats to Texas. The Gulf remaining pretty quiet. Quiet. Our wave heights are pretty flat as well. We'll talk more about what you can expect for the upcoming week and what that high pressure means for us for this last week of summer coming up. Barbie John Thomas. Carly, thank you. We appreciate it.